Today on the program, the development of a major publishing business, winning literary compositions, creating a fashion brand, as well as a bright and popular photo project. And all this is in the hands of a creative and proactive woman. Over the five years of our program, we have met a lot of unique and colorful people of success. Some of them approve themselves in complex business, some in art, and some surprise us by innovative solutions. Our today's heroine reflects all of these. The largest private publisher has been successfully publishing publications in the national language for 16 years. And it's safe to say that in today's revival and popularization of the Kazakh language, there is the contribution of the entrepreneur, whose roots go back to Korea, and yet her heart belongs to Kazakhstan. I wanted to be an actress. I had this actress talent, but because of my nationality, I am Korean, I changed my mind. I just thought, what roles would I perform? I experienced such a time. I even participated in contests of reciters. I am still very good at spout poetry, but in addition, I used to draw models of dresses for my girlfriends and just friends. That time people used to sew dresses and my grandma was a qualified dressmaker. I had grown up by fashion magazines and it was nonsense in other families. When I was reviving my secondary school certificate, my teacher, who was giving me it, told me if I would not be engaged in fashion, our country would have lost a very talented designer. However, after graduating from the physics and mathematics school, Tatiana chose a purely technical specialty and graduated with honors from the Technological Institute of Light and Food Industries and then she became a technologist. She was predicted to have a scientific career, but hard times came out, the collapse of the USSR and Kazakhstan's independence, and our heroine decided to go into business. When my parents saw me selling goods at the market, they cried, because they were sure that I would continue my education in the Institute of Economics as a postgraduate student as it was expected after graduation. I graduated with honors and must have gone to a postgraduate program. But at that time, my husband was a postgraduate student, and we decided that two students are too much for our family. And when my parents saw me there, they were shocked. It was a period of strong social and economic shock. The market economy had just formed, planned production and trade have collapsed. The process of formation has not been easy, and the young entrepreneur had to experience it on a full scale. были времена такие стихийного рынка, да, ты не понимал. It was the time of pop-up market. You just had no idea what to do and where to go. I remember you could go to Russia, but you were not safe there, you know? You can't go to the police or anywhere else because you are just a citizen of another country. And this lack of safety caused many problems like racketeering in an entrenched way that anybody could rob you. I faced rackets and hotels and lift on and lift off processes. After passing the period of spontaneous trade, yet gaining a great experience, Tatiana decided to take on a more systematic business. Her choice fell on the publishing business. Probably her excellent education and thirst for literature initiated this decision. Our publishing house is 16 years old, and all of it began when I was a distributor of many Russian publishing houses. It means we distribute their products in our market, and at one time it became interesting to me 
to role in this business because I knew the market very well. It started by crossword puzzles. We created our own crossword puzzles and e-dictionaries. And we began to deal with thematic newspapers, medicine and IT. And I asked myself, why not? Why not try if we have experience? After that, we started to publish magazines. Just everything came from another. Today, the publishing house of Tatiana is publishing four dozen different periodicals, newspapers and magazines. For the Kazakh market, this volume is very significant. And the success of the company was achieved thanks to the Insight manager, who clearly defined priorities for her print projects. Чем сильно наше издательство? Это позиция казахского языка. Для меня очень важно было создать издание именно на казахском языке. What is the power of our publishing house? This is the position of the Kazakh language. It has been very important for me to create it in Kazakh, so that it would meet some international standards. And I do believe that we have achieved it. Why? We have a huge experience of work with the Kazakh language and our publishing house has created the first Kazakh e-dictionary. If you see any crossword publications, please know that they are created on the base of our e-dictionary that has been created in our publishing house. Publishing awakened in Tatiana Tsoi also literary inclinations. Being a writer for her newspapers and magazines, soon she became fascinated by this and even trained in the school of writers, and later even won a literary contest. Why did I begin to write? While hiring journalists and proofreaders, I always check their works. I am always not satisfied because we have particular directions, some secrets, some borders within which we should write. Whenever I hire journalists from universities, they always write it wrong. I began explaining to them, and then I got tired and began to write by myself. Actually, writing was like catharsis for me, that's a release. Probably I have said everything I wanted to this world. Now I speak the language of fashion, and it is breathtaking for me. I live by this. It is amazing, but at a certain stage, children have a passion about fashion. Style and beautiful clothes came back to the life of this successful businesswoman. Prediction about a life in fashion at school became the next business field. Поскольку вся моя творческая деятельность на протяжении последних лет была связана с модой. Since my activity was connected with fashion during many years, it goes without saying that I started to be engaged in it. Surely I had to open my own studio, because it was hard to make offers for some capsule collections somewhere else. Therefore, I opened my own studio, what of course led me to open my own shop. So a new fashion brand was born. The artistic view of Tatiana Soy came to the taste of Kazakh fashion women. Her collection at Kazakh Fashion Week compels the attention of everybody. But the main emphasis in her business is not fashion shows. Today there are exhibitions where you can present your collection and sell it. It is much more interesting than fashion shows or fashion weeks. Of course, fashion shows are also good and have their advantages, but now I've taken a six-month break, and I'm going to come out at the Fall Fashion Week with my new collection. And now we're working on our new collection that will be present at the exhibition. Tatiana has the amazing ability to combine different types of activities, to find new forms of creative expression, and to create new projects. So on a joint of publishing and fashion, she gave birth to another resonant project, Star's Transformation. Наверняка все многие видели и по телевизору, и в 
журналах, то есть не только в наших... Probably everybody has watched on TV or seen in magazines and not only in our titles how this project is launched. It is a photo project where our famous celebrities transform into well-known heroes, characters, movie characters, just actors, singers, writers, in a word, world-famous personas. It is a very interesting project because there are many talented people working there, beginning with bronze makeup world champions and ending with our Kazakh designers. What is the difficulty of our project? We have an Asian type of face and many want to look like European stars. For example, Marlene Dietrich, when Karashash Zhuzeva transformed into her. It was a very interesting performance, an amazing transformation, where it doesn't matter that you are Asian. Additionally, it is the work of our photographer, good skills of makeup artists, face painters, designers, because we work in a team. When Tatiana is asked how she manages to find time to develop her numerous projects and manage extensive business, she always answers that it is a gift received from her mom and dad. I am very grateful to my parents, my father, because he taught us many things, of course, with the help of our mom. My father is like a huge block. He led a big organization with 3,000 employees. It was he to let me understand who the man is, and now I am trying to pass this meaning to my children. Kindly, our heroine tries to keep continuity about a special education for her children and the family. She tries to give them every opportunity to develop their talents and disclosure. I have two children, a daughter and a son. My daughter, Yonhi, is 26. By the way, she has a very beautiful Korean name. And my son, Tingir, is 17. Yonhi finished Marshall's Business School and graduated in Los Angeles. Now she works here. The most interesting is that she is a business analyst but still she has a very good sense of beauty, and it is expressed in creating a website and internet shop by herself. Now she is promoting a Californian system in Kazakhstan. My son is finishing Archimedes school. We lay hopes on him. He is a single man in our family. He is a very kind person. I call myself that I have achieved everything as a mother when I look at them. Tatiana Soy does not want to stand still and now launches new projects covering fundamentally new business areas. This is a major television project which will affect the whole country and restaurant business where our heroine wants to show off her sense of taste and harmony. As she says, with her new project, she becomes more and more strong and her desire to create grows. I think I charge myself from people and it inspires me, especially gathering with creative people. Surely smart, forward-thinking and sometimes weird. I get my energy from them. Actually, people inspire me, otherwise how can I create? Because everything we do, we do for people. First of all, with love to people, I think it is the secret of success.